One story I want to talk about is a column by former Power Hour guest Jude Clementi. And it reminded me of a curious statistic uh, that I uh, that I saw some years ago. And uh, so it's about why the US coal power plants are less modern than the Chinese coal power plants. So there's so the basic function of a coal power plant is that you know coal gets burned and the heat then creates steam in a boiler. And that creates steam pressure, which which then drives the shaft of a turbine, which generates the actual electricity. So and so usually you think this is very outdated technology. The basics are there since the 19th century. And uh, but actually there are newer power plant types that are supercritical and ultra supercritical. And what that means is that in these power plants, the steam uh, or the water is heated to a, a higher heat level and the and kept under bigger pressure and that creates greater efficiency in the heat transfer from the coal to the actual electricity generation in the turbine and so this is quite significant um, so the overall efficiency uh, comes from up from like 33 percent uh, to 40 percent between you know the heat content of the coal to the actual electricity generated and this is quite significant and so the curious statistic that i was reminded of was that china has so many more super critical uh, coal power plants compared to america although america generally is still considered the much more developed country of course and so at the time i thought it was just you know something like uh, oh they are building much more and much quicker at much quicker pace but one of the reasons is actually environmental regulations. So uh, regulations, uh, for example, like the New Source Review, which is uh, a regulation over, overseen by the EPA, which forces plant operators who want to modernize their plant or build a new one to, for example, use the latest efficiency uh, uh, technology to mitigate, to mitigate emissions. And... Uh, so there's a there's a large sort of regulatory framework by which you have to uh, get permission to upgrade your power plant, and so operators typically avoid that as much as possible. You want in America, you want to run the coal power plant, uh, you know, with the oldest possible technology because that prevents the EPA from saying, "Hey, you have to pay a lot of of." Uh, of bills for this new technologies that we want to install in your uh, power plant. And uh, so the effect of this is that America actually runs a lot more older technology in its power plant than, for example, China. One, one interesting perspective on this that I think it came up a couple of years ago when I was talking to Robert Bryce in one of our discussions. And it just occurred to me in passing when he was talking about increases in efficiency, it might've been in coal mining or something else, but that, or maybe it was power plants that you know, to increase the efficiency of something that's good at providing abundant, reliable energy, that's such a huge thing. And it has so many wide ranging consequences, whether you're providing more power for less money or more power with fewer of potentially dangerous emissions, that's really good. And yet there's so little focus on that. And in fact, sometimes it's made much more difficult. And yet all of these symbolic things by certain users of power, which is actually which actually hurt their customers because it's 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 doing things in a way that's actually inefficient from an economic perspective and thus makes makes life more expensive, that's viewed as virtue. So new source reason is an example where the, it's an example of a broader problem where we don't value improving the best technologies. We just value uh, replacing them with these inferior but supposedly natural technologies. 